Hi, it's Paula here in the Cricut Craft Room and today I am going to show you how to use our vinyl. So we're gonna use our Explore Air 2 and then we're also going to be using our Premium Permanent Vinyl. We're gonna hop over in Design Space and we're gonna choose an image so we can cut it out and put it on our picture. All right, so here we're just in our Design Space desktop app. And as you can see, we have a, a blank screen. Over on this side, we're gonna go right here into images. And this is just gonna pull up a lot of images that we have in our access. And up in the search, I am going to search llama wearing sombrero, because this is a cute image and it's so fun. So we're gonna choose this little guy here. Isn't that adorable? Now to choose him, we just click right there and it puts him down here on our screen and we hit insert images. Now from here, you can adjust the size of your image. You can use this little button down here and just pull, click it and pull. Or we can go up here to our size and you can change the width or the height. And at, because this is locked, it is going to keep the proportions of our height to our width. If you wanted to manipulate that, you would just click our little padlock here and it unlocks it. And then right down here, you can move it any way you want, or up here, you can change the width, and that makes him kind of tall and skinny. And if you don't like the look of that, then we can change this, and that makes it more proportional. But that does allow you to manipulate the image a little bit more for what you need. All right, so we have them at the size that we want. Now we're gonna make sure we have our correct machine selected. So in this dropdown, you have the option of the Cricut Maker or the Cricut Explorer family. We're using the Peach Kiss Explorer Air 2 today. So we're gonna click Explorer Family. All right, and now we're gonna click Make It. So here we are on our map screen. This is going to show us exactly on the map where our image is going to cut. Now, if you're using a scrap piece or if you are using a piece that you've already cut something out of, you can move this image anywhere on the mat. It doesn't have to stay up here. You can also turn it. So you can, if you're trying to fit it in with other images, you can put it at an angle, whatever you need to do to make it work. All right, so we'll just put that guy kind of back where we want him, upright, and we'll put him over in this corner. And so from here, we're going to click continue. And because I'm connected to my machine, it automatically pulls up my Air 2 for me. Right now my machine is set on iron on, so we're gonna head over to our machine and change that setting. So on our machine here, you can have paper, vinyl, iron on, light cardstock, cardstock, bonded fabric, poster board, or custom. In between each one of these materials on here is also a plus or a minus basically. So there's a little dot there so you could have iron on plus or iron on not quite so, so heavy for the cutting. But what you can also do is put it on custom and then you can select a material that's not listed here from our design space. But because we're going with vinyl, we're gonna go ahead and just put it on vinyl here and we have our little flashing arrow that wants us to load our mat. So we have one of our green standard grip mats and we are using our premium permanent vinyl. Now, you want this to be your grid side down on your mat. So you're gonna place it down on your mat and you wanna make sure that you kind of roll it out a little bit like this and it, just push it down as you go. So then you won't have as many bubbles in and it cuts really smooth for you. So we have that ready to go and we're gonna load it into our machine. You wanna make sure you stay under the guider feet here and give it just a little bit of pressure as you load the mat. Now we're gonna see our Cricut C start to flash and we're gonna hit go and it's gonna start to cut for us. All right, so I have cut, we've had the machine cut out and then I've trimmed up my piece of vinyl here. So we're gonna go to the overhead and I'm just gonna show you some quick weeding. All right, so we're gonna weed, just start up here in the corner and we're just pulling this vinyl away from the backing and we're gonna pull it at an angle and if a cut didn't quite cut the way it was supposed to, 
you just take your little weeder guy here and you just press those parts down. As you can see, it looks like it was just caught up on that one spot there. And because this is an outline of the llama, we're gonna pull all of this off. Oops, and then it's trying to stick to itself. So pull that away there. And now we're gonna weed out the inside here. So we're gonna grab a little corner up here. Watch your cut lines to make sure that you're not getting the outline. And we're gonna pull that. And you wanna go slow and add an angle because like I said, if any of these were sticking, we don't wanna just rip it off because then we might lose or wrinkle part of our image. And we definitely don't wanna do that. So now we're gonna get the inside of his sombrero. And see, weeding, not so bad when you got these nice big pieces. If you're one of those people who love the intricate weeding, then we definitely have some great images in Design Space for you. And see these little ones, they're trying to be tricky for me by coming up off of there. So we're just gonna place that back where it goes. So sometimes with these smaller things that will happen that it just gets stuck in there. So we're gonna put this on our weeding tool like this. And then we're just gonna set that back down where it goes. So there's almost nothing you can't fix. Just make sure that you go slow and add an angle so that you can catch anything that might happen. All right, so there we have our little guy. And now we're going to add the transfer tape. So what I like to do it's because you can kind of see through the transfer tape, when I press it down, I can see how much I need. I like to just take my scissors and do a little snip here at where I'm gonna cut there. And then down here, do a little snip at where I need to cut it here. And then I'm just going to, whoops, meet those in the middle so that we're not using a bunch of transfer tape that we don't need to use and we can save it to use later. Now, you can reuse transfer tape. As long as it's sticky and it doesn't have a bunch of fibers or anything that will affect laying your vinyl down, you can use it as many times as it's sticky for. So now we're just gonna pull this away. And what I like to do, because this is like a tall image, I'm gonna pull the top away like that. And then I'm gonna set this at the top here and just press down. And then I'm gonna pull my backing out from under it and keep pressing it down as I go. That will help me not have as many bubbles in it, which will lay my vinyl smoother when I first put it on. All right, so we have that guy on there. Now we're gonna take our scraper, we're gonna give it a couple passes, and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna press from the back because we really wanna press that vinyl onto, onto our transfer tape. So now we're gonna take a little bit of this, we're gonna set that face down and we're going to pull this away from the transfer tape. This is another time that you wanna make sure you go nice and slow so that you make sure that all of your little parts are sticking down to your transfer tape. And there you go, see how great that is? Now we're gonna take our little picture that we have here and we are going to place it. What you wanna do, so what we can do for this is we're gonna put this little thing over here and then we're gonna take our weeder and press it there. That's gonna keep my picture from rolling around. So your tools are multi-purpose here. All right, and now you're just gonna kind of look. So you can, you can measure if you want it centered or high, but once you kind of find out where you want it to be, you wanna curve it a little bit and then set it down on your item and you roll one piece down that way, kind of smooth it, and then the other piece the other way. 
All right, and then we're gonna take our scraper again and we're gonna just press that down. You just wanna make sure that it's adhering to your, your base. And this again, when we pull the transfer tape off, you're gonna go slow and at an angle so that you can make sure all of the image is pressed down. So we're gonna get that just a little bit more of a scrape and then pull slowly. See how that's laying nice and flat. Oh, see that guy tried to pop up there. So we're gonna take this and just give that another quick little press and pull away again. All right, so as you pull down, if you see anything that's not stuck down, just give it a quick little swipe, and there you go. Now, as I said, you can reuse this. If you're making several items, you can reuse this. You can either stick it back to your backer, or I've seen people just stick it to their desk or whatever they're using. So now you wanna make sure and go through all of this and make sure everything's nice and pressed down. If there's any bubbles, you can use this little guy and just press those right out. So we're gonna make that lie flat, make sure everything's on, and there you go. So we have the whole image on there, it's laying nice and flat. Now, because this is our premium vinyl, I'm sorry, our premium permanent vinyl, you do not want to use this right away. You wanna let it set for 24 hours before you put anything in it, before you wash it, anything like that. After that, you wanna make sure and hand wash it. We always wanna hand wash this because every dishwasher is different. We've had tons of people say, oh my gosh, I ran something through the dishwasher 500 times and it stuck perfectly. However, not every dishwasher is the same. Water temperatures are different. So we suggest hand washing it to give you the most longevity out of it. All right, and real quick, I wanna tell you that we have two different types of vinyl for our premium permanent and premium removable. So as you can see, the removable, both of them lie flat, they're easy to weed, but you really wanna check because if you're doing something for like mugs or pitchers like this, things that you want to stick forever, you definitely wanna go with our permanent. However, if it's something that you wanna change out that you know, oh, it's gonna be a seasonal item and when spring rolls around, I'm gonna do something different, you wanna go with our removable. On both of them, it will say right up there at the top, on the top banner, if they're permanent or removable, and also on the back, on the grid part of the vinyl, it'll say Cricut Permanent Premium Vinyl or Cricut Removable Premium Vinyl. So those are the different ways that you can tell which kind you're using and which will work best for your product. So now we have our finished picture, and isn't that so adorable, our little llama with the sombrero. And we're so glad that you were able to join us and hope that you were able to get your project made and you have a wonderful day.